Good day, fellow investors. Our friend Sven Hasselt wrote in a comment, what do I think about cocoa? It is at multi-year lows, and when I see a commodity at multi-year lows, I immediately jump to investigate, because commodities are easy. You have to see what's the supply, what's the demand. If there is too much of supply, prices go down. If there is not enough supply, prices go up. So I want to see what will happen, and you cannot affect demand. Demand is there. It depends only on how much cocoa you're going to eat. And that's pretty stable and slowly growing as the world de develops. So it's all about supply there. If I can estimate that next year the crop will be lower, so that supply will be lower, then I can expect cocoa prices to go up. Let so let's see what's going on in the cocoa world and how we can go about investing in it. So cocoa prices in history have been pretty pretty volatile and you can see that in the last decade they went up to above 3000 then dropped around 2013, 2012, took almost 2000 then went up again above 3000 and then dropped again to the current 2000. If I look at this long term chart from an inflation perspective, current cocoa prices are below what was the global infl inflation rate. So from, from a commodity perspective cocoa prices are relatively cheap. The next thing we have to look at is cocoa supply and demand. <laughs> Go to the International Cocoa Organization, you check what they are saying about what's going on. And you can see the reason for the low cocoa prices. The forecasts for 2016-17 have been very very positive. Increased production by 18.1%, increased grinding that leads to sur surplus of 382,000 metric tons. In such a situation, prices go down. Additionally, cocoa bean arrivals to ports in the Ivory Coast are, f are up 35% compared to last year, which means there will be much more supply. And it won't be positive for cocoa prices. Just because they are now at 2000 doesn't mean it's a good investment. We really have to wait for an inflection because the next crop will also be good thanks to favorable weather. So it doesn't mean it's a great investment now. Nevertheless, we can still profit from cocoa prices and pro cocoa price movements. One way is you can go short the ETF, cocoa ETF. There are two cocoa ETFs. One is called NIB and the other is called Chuck. So <laughs> you guess where the names come from. If we look at ETF prices, they're also very low. They follow cocoa prices through future contracts. So they are pretty good proxies for cocoa investing. However, when shorting, you never know what can happen. But if you can buy options, puts, if puts and calls are your thing, this might be interesting. Nevertheless, there is another way of profiting from declining cocoa prices. And that is to buy those companies that their biggest costs is cocoa, like Hershey, Lindt or Berry Caleba or however do I pronounce it. So Hershey has 10 to 15% of cost of goods sold depending on cocoa prices. If cocoa prices decline, it means that here and there, not immediately, but Hershey's margins will increase. The last time cocoa prices decreased from 3000 to 2000, Hershey's margin increased from 46% gross margin to 48% gross margin. So that would reflect into Hershey's earnings make it grow and, of course, should reflect into higher stock prices. However, the price earnings ratio are crazy. Hershey has above 30, Lind is above 30, almost 40, and this Berry Calabo is also very high and above 30. So very, very expensive because the low cocoa prices are already included in the price. However, when that gets confirmed, usually stock prices go even higher call it a crazy market, but that's how the market is. So to conclude, just because cocoa prices are low doesn't mean they are a good investment. The next crop coming will again be a good, great crop. Warehouses in the Ivory Coast are full. They, the farmers, if you read the newspaper, cannot sell their cocoa because nobody wants it, because the warehouses are already full. So it will take some time for the supply glut to dissolve somebody will plant less cocoa in the next crop year and then the cocoa price will start to recover. 
so there is still plenty of time to invest in Coco. So for now we'll keep it there. If you want to invest in Hershey or if you're thinking about those chocolate stocks you might want to take advantage of short-term trends. However for, me, however, for me, they are overvalued now. Nevertheless, we'll follow it. I have seen also that coffee prices are very low and I want to investigate also if there is some potential there because it's a little bit different and I, because all those cocoa, coffee depend a lot on the weather and the weather is volatile. However, if you position yourself, if you have a little medium-term outlook you can really benefit by trading options or whatever in these commodities because it doesn't depend on what the market thinks it depends on supply and demand and that can be played on with low risk high reward bets thank you for watching if you have any other ideas like the cocoa play coffee play stocks that follow that share it in the comments let me know what do you think like it if you like the content and I'll see you in the next video.